all right guys welcome back to the channel it's been a while i've been gone took a little break but we're back and this week we're finishing up a project from last year i'm going to give you guys a video now before we jump into the new stuff this year we're going to show you how we took this laundry room from this to what you see here behind me so stick around we're just going to kind of go through everything that we did so stick around All right guys, so this video is all about transforming our laundry room from a 1980s laundry room to a functional 2020s family dump site. <laughs> so we started by saying goodbye to the old flooring, the tired sink, and the ancient cabinets and shelves all made out of plywood. Found a Pokemon. All right, next was the behind the scenes hero, the plumbing. We are setting up the plumbing for our future dog bath. So I just used two shark bite shut off valves to go from the copper to the PEX. And don't worry guys, there will be an easy access for all the don't use shark bites crew that are gonna start commenting. Um, but yeah, we just put in the two water lines and immediately jumped into framing. Alright, and here I'm working on getting our dog bath framed. So this is going to be a dog bath slash utility sink and it sits about 30 inches off of the ground for easy washing. And next we installed our shower system. We used the Curdy shower system to make the sink waterproof. So basically we just built a mini shower where the sink is at. So once we have the rough layout, we attached everything and sealed all the seams using mortar. Um, this is my first time using the Curdy system, so I really don't want to get into detail. I don't know a lot about the system, but there's a lot of resources online if you want to try this uh, system out. And we went ahead and did some ceiling skim coating as well um, to kind of fix the ceiling so all this could dry at the same time overnight. The next step was to frame the base for our mud area bench. Um, I just used 2x4s to make this simple frame here. And I used two small cabinets that are meant to go over the fridge. These are uh, the over the fridge cabinets that you usually see. And I just placed them on top of this frame. I didn't want anything that would stick out too much, take too much room. It's just a little area for us to kind of sit and put our shoes on, take them off. And later on, we also added a cushion top that we made using a piece of plywood and some fabric and staples that made this into a little bench area. Right, and moving on to the tile, we're just using regular subway tiles and just a splash of some teal hexagon 
for this uh, shower slash dog bath that we're building here. Um, if you haven't seen the video, the link will be in the description. I did a whole video just on the dog bath. Uh, that one took a while, so yeah, check it out. And this was probably the part that took the longest in the laundry room with the prep work and everything that we did, but it's now one of our favorites in the house and one of the areas that we use the most for a lot of different things. And next, we added some color to the mix, walls, the old trim, we painted all of it. So we painted with a white semi-gloss for all the trim areas, and we prepped it by scuffing, um, sand scuffing it, and also using a deglosser to remove some of the gloss from the poly on the wood. And for the walls, we went with a Benjamin Moore color called Classic Gray, which I got color matched at Home Depot, and we did an eggshell sheen. Um, I did have Alex come in and help me uh, spray the trim um, and then I rolled the walls we used the bare premium paint which we got color matched again to that Benjamin Moore color and it's worked pretty well um, I actually like that bare brand the premium plus one And the flooring was step by step, literally. <laughs> so I picked these 12 by 24 inch tiles that match our front entry door area. And these are exactly the same ones that I used in our entry, just a bigger size. And I really like the black tile for the entries just because I feel like it's easy to clean and tough for when you come in with, you know, muddy boots and cleats and things like that. So we started by doing a dry fit and cutting and fitting all the floor before moving on to actually applying the mortar. And then we also did the undercut here on the doorway. Yeah, so I've been doing quite a bit of tile recently. And so I've upped my tile tools. I got my little handy little roller knee thing here. And then I've got this tile holder, this suction cup that I picked up a couple jobs ago. Uh, that's been really handy for holding these bigger size um, tiles. Makes it so much easier to handle them. All right, and finally the semi finishing touches uh, included the lights, plumbing finishes, 
the wallpaper on our bench area, the shelves here, and a butcher block countertop that we installed. And yeah, I mean, we still got a couple things left, um, but these were the main things that were pending. It took me like six months to get to this stage, guys, so I was pretty frustrated with this laundry room. Glad that we finally got to this. And speaking of frustration, so originally we had colored everything like a bright white, the trim, the cabinet, boxes, everything. And then for some reason I decided that I wanted them dark because the shoe thing was getting dirty. So I went, I picked up this color that was like a magnolia color. It was like a green, bluish green. It looked on the sample. It looked amazing on the sample. And then I sprayed it everywhere without even trying it out. And I ended up with like a dark forest laundry room. <laughs> And then on top of that, I painted the walls a different color to see if that would make it look better, and it didn't. Um, so yeah, I ended up painting the laundry room three times. This is the second time that we painted it here. We're trying out that new color. But all in all, I went back to a gray and picked out a different like bluish color here for the cabinets. This is the final reveal here. Um, I ended up with something a little more fresher to kind of go with the teal in the in the dog bath here and kind of match more um yeah so i mean let me know what you guys think we did have a lot of fun with this and as you can see we do use it a lot this is in use already so this project took months i started last year and i kind of just worked on it a couple hours here and there and just you know it was a mess it's one of those never-ending projects that i finally almost gave up on <laughs> but i did it and i'm still i've still got some work left still got to order these doors so we're gonna order doors for this and probably doors for all this over here these all this shelving and stuff um not sure about leaving it open maybe the shoes we might leave open just because it's the uh, area where, that we use the most in here but yeah so this project was ongoing for months and months um got 90 percent of it done and like i said we still got some uh things to do i'm thinking of adding a little ridge here with the router to hold these we keep a lot of hangers here because you know something comes out of the washer and we go ahead and hang it and so that that's the thing that after using it for a few months i'm thinking of adding we're gonna paint this window probably for now to black paint it black just to kind of match a little bit more um, but yeah i mean all in all this laundry looks a lot better than when we started it's like a catch-all area um, so we come in normally through the side door here more than the front so all our stuff gets thrown in here. We got, you can see we do use this area a lot. We've got backpacks, we've got soccer bags and stuff down here. A lot of shoes here, um, boots and stuff. Um, and so this area gets really used, real dirty. Um, we had some ice this week. And so like it was completely covered in salt and mess from outside, but yeah. And then we've got our bath that we made here. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, yeah, so we use this for the dogs and the boots and just filling containers and things like that. So very handy. I'm really glad we did this here um, as well as the countertop here for the folding. Um, like I said, we take the clothes out of the dryer and washer, lay it out flat and, you know, we can hang it then right then and there. We can come back to it later. Um, I do need to add a blind here to kind of cover this. Yeah, so some small stuff still definitely left, but I'm ready to move on from this video, this project. So. We gave it to you guys at like 90%. <laughs> and I've got some new things coming up. So thanks for watching, guys.